my first question really is for those of folks who aren't familiar with Media Barter, uh, what should they know about Media Barter that they probably don't know? Well, me- Media Barter, a lot of people, well, the people who have no idea that billions of dollars worth of media are purchased this way. And people I know do know about it. Of course, uh, Media Bart has a reputation worse than that of politicians and used car salespeople. And of course, my other big uh, discipline that I got involved with in addition to barter uh, is politics, political consulting. So I've been in both places and believe it or not, the barter industry has a worse reputation and, not, and most of it well-deserved. But media barter generally is uh, the purchase of underperforming assets in exchange for advertising. Or, uh, and under, underperforming assets could be closed on merchandise, which is the most frequent category. But it could also be production capacity. It could be real estate. It could be uh, airline seats, hotel rooms. Generally, two most common are um, excess merchandise and hotel rooms. And, and generally, the companies that do it uh, are public companies. And for book value, the value of the media I give them is greater than the cash they can generate from selling their merchandise. Uh, and you know, that's what media barter is. But a lot of the time, uh, companies really commit grand larceny. And one of the reasons why I started my own company was I was asked to do that at a company I worked for, and I refused. And I, when I first started my company, uh, the name I wanted to do, because of the industry's reputation, I took the Latin phrase for uh, honest and for barter and it came up with a name called probus muto. Everybody hated it. So when I was pitching my investors originally, they asked me what I'm going to call the company. I said the name it bombed, and then I just came up with reciprocal results on the spur of the moment. <laughs> well, sometimes spur of the moment uh, works out really well. So um, I do remember I was involved in some some uh, barter media in the past, and the big sticking point was always this uh, idea that you needed to use a combination of the trade credits and cash to buy the media, and the percentage was always such that you probably could have negotiated a better a sufficiently good price for that media where the cash portion would have covered the whole thing, right? And so yeah, they, they, then the credits what basically... Companies, what barter companies generally did, and one of the things that I protested about uh, was that they would keep for pure profit what they sell the merchandise for as cash, plus make a spread, usually a full 15, on the, on the media buying. Right. And I, and I talked about that openly when I started the company and the trade association for corporate trade said, nobody does that. Everybody does that, (laughs) you know, and I wanted to at least not make that my, my default. I mean, if somebody wanted to do a deal like that, where the only way I could give them the trade value they wanted and they were going to do a deal with someone else. Yeah. I would do that type of deal. But even then what I would do is I would give them a percentage of the cash back rather than pocketing it and then, or, or make a smaller spread. 